Throughout American history, women gradually gained more rights, starting as far back as the 1800s and up to as recent as the 1950s. There were many women who fought for rights and power, including Lucretia Mott during the 19th century and Gloria Steinem during the 20th and 21st centuries. The rights Mott and Steinem helped women gain are very different, but they both changed women's rights in the way they are viewed. Gloria Steinem was born in Toledo, Ohio in 1934. She grew up with a father, sister, and mother who was afflicted by a psychological illness. Gloria Steinem attended Smith College, a women's college in Massachusetts. Steinem decided to fight for women's rights when she realized that her mother's psychological illness was caused by her having to give up her job as a reporter to start a family. After Steinem graduated from Smith College, she hoped to go on to advocate for women's rights. However, her plans were delayed when she became pregnant and had to decide whether to marry and give up her career or to have an illegal abortion. She believed that men were not needed in a woman's life. A woman without a man is like a fish without a bicycle. Gloria Steinem decided to have the abortion and not get married. Later, Steinem pursued journalism by writing for various magazines such as Help, Esquire, and Glamour. In 1968, Steinem covered Senator George McGovern's campaign, which led her to her job in New York Magazine, a job that made her start to focus more on feminism. Steinem marched in the New York Women's Strike for Equality, where she met Dorothy Pittman Hughes, the founder of the first community daycare center for working mothers in New York. They spoke together across the nation about equal pay for equal work, legalizing abortion, and passing the Equal Rights Amendment. Along with Dorothy Pittman Hughes, Steinem developed the Women's Action Alliance, which helped educate women. And in 1972, they published the first issue of Miss Magazine, a magazine about feminism. One of the most important contributions Gloria Steinem made was in 1973, when she made abortion more acceptable by announcing the story of her legal abortion to the public. Gloria Steinem continues to fight for the rights of all people today. Lucretia Coffin was born in January 1793. In 1811, she married James Mott and became Lucretia Mott. James and Lucretia had six children. Lucretia was a Quaker, so she believed in equal rights for all humans, including women and slaves. She said, In a true marriage relation, the independence of the husband and wife is equal, their dependence mutual, and their obligations reciprocal. Ma was also a supporter of anti-slavery, so she refused to buy cotton cloth, sugarcane, and other slave-produced products. Lucretia attended the anti-slavery convention in London, England in 1840, and was recognized as a minister in the Philadelphia Society of Friends. Lucretia Mott also introduced Elizabeth Cady Stanton to ideas of gender equality, which inspired both of them to act. After helping Elizabeth Stanton draft the Declaration of Sentiments with Mary Ann McClintock and Martha Coffin Wright, Lucretia was the first to sign the Declaration. The Declaration of Sentiments, a document signed by 68 women and 32 men, was issued by the Seneca Falls Convention and called for equal rights of women. As a result of all her work, Lucretia was elected clerk of the Philadelphia Women's Yearly Meeting in the 1830s. She was chosen as the first president of the Equal Rights Association in 1866. Despite her strong feelings about anti-slavery, Lucretia denounced the Civil War in 1861 because she was a Quaker and she did not believe in violence. Lucretia Mott died on November 11, 1880, and although women did not gain rights such as the right to vote in her lifetime, they gained that right and more because of what she had fought for. Although Lucretia Mott and Gloria Steinem were only two people, they both made a difference in reforming women's rights. Gloria Steinem has made a difference by making abortion more acceptable and advocating for the equality of men and women. Lucretia Mott made a difference by speaking out about her ideas of equal rights for all. Gloria Steinem and Lucretia Mott's success teaches us to make a difference by public speaking, writing books and magazines, starting foundations, and joining and helping to lead societies and organizations. Despite the fact that Lucretia Mott and Gloria Steinem lived in different time periods and fought for very different rights, they both have the same idea. Women and men should be considered equal.